look at this, guys. This banana are from our farm that my family harvested here. And since the rain stopped, I decided to come out here in our greenhouse to do some planting for the rotten tomato that we have in the kitchen so we can grow some seedlings here inside our greenhouse and until now the electricity not yet come back it's been few hours already and i'm worried again about our fishes but i kept moving on the water and kept putting some new water in it and hopefully the electricity will come back soon so the fish will not die yes yeah, so i guess i'm going to continue working here in our greenhouse it's been a while i saved some rotten tomatoes and i'm gonna plant this i have planted some and it grow then i transplanted it already in the other beds for our vegetable garden here I'm holding here now the shovel. It's quite noisy at this time because our neighbor is running their generator and I guess they are working on their cement mixer also. And in here, this is how it looks now in our greenhouse. Some of the plants on the top I transferred already in. The Chinese cabbage, they grown some bigger but we used it already and I planted some more and it grow again. This one is the Chinese cabbage and here is our chili and look at this, they start flowering here and some are already have some fruits vegetables in there and this part I have planted some tea chai and there are some left because I have planted a lot in here and they grow then something ate it and there are just few left behind and good thing they grow bigger and I have used some of this already in cooking yeah so this is my peach eye that I planted last time. Yeah, they're getting bigger. And in here, and the end of the peach eye, the half of it, I planted some radish because there are a lot of radish growing. So I transplanted it here in this part. And as we go in here, yeah, the ornamental plants that I planted, some in the beds growing bigger also. And as you can see here, this is where the place I planted a lot of tomato, but the tomato was eaten by R80. So I transplanted again. So I planted again some rotten tomato and then they grow and then I transplanted it into other beds and some I put it in here mixed with the radish so I did a uh, intercropping this is the radish some of the radish that I transplanted here and there are some more tomato growing here but I guess I just leave it here since I gonna grow again some more this is what left behind with that tomato which is eaten by the RET but I grown some more here and these are some of the radish that are growing I mix it up I alternate it radish tomato radish and tomato but it's quite a lot of radish here then in the end more tomato that I grown and in this part, during our wedding day, our, my aunt asked me if we're gonna buy some chives or scallion. But I told them that we have a lot in the garden, so they able to harvest some of this. And then now these are that's left behind. These chives, guys, are given to me by the 
place in the market where we always bought our vegetables and fruit and they give us free on this so I plant it here and let it grow bigger but in that side um, I need to grow some more cucumber here because my cucumber are already old and I need to pull it out that one but they are still fruiting but I have to pull that out because it's dying already and I need to change another cucumber seedlings here I need to plant more but in this one there are still a lot of flowers so I guess I will not pull this out only those one that really died there are more cucumber here the fruit look at those but it died in this part guys these are all squash it's a different type of squash it's quite the fruit is quite long not round one this one is a long one and they have fruits already like from here going down this area where i planted the beans and they give us a lot so when I harvested it, I gave it away to our friends, even to our neighbor. But how I wish our family is near, but they are in the other towns quite far. So I give it away to the, to the other people. There, going down, these are all squash. And they have fruits already in there. Even here, so you can see, I'm going to show you. Most of our plants and vegetables here we do organic yeah we just not really doing more on synthetic and um, a lot quite a lot of fruits coming out and then we able to eat it already and able to share it to other people but it's nice when you grow some plants and then you can able to harvest your own food so this is how it looks Look at this guys, there is another morph coming up. Look, it's quite different. It's not round, but it's long one. And there is some more there down below. I guess. I don't know where the end yung set. But yeah. Here. Look. We have some fruits here. We have some squash. Look. We have some squash there. There. And there are more over there and here in also this one it's quite big <laughs> it's nice to see that they have already some squash in there and there's a lot more down below but i have to look on it and there is more here yeah look at that and over there and and there is more a lot coming but the flower is not open yet and when it's open this one like this is the female one in the squash but there is a flower that we call it a male one like this one the different look so this is the male flower when it open up and then and then the female one flower the female flower will open up we gonna meet them together with the male and female flower so we just take in like what we did this morning like this one yeah so the squash won't pull out and it will grow bigger and last time also we able to harvest a lot of eggplant. <laughs> My family were here during our wedding day. They able to harvest the eggplant since they don't want it to be get older, so it still tastes better. And until now, there are still more coming out. Look, there's a lot more coming out over there. See? Even here, there is more. 
look at those. But in this part, these are all uh, half of these beads are okra. But I guess I need to pull it out since it's old enough. And I'm gonna plant another batch of okra. Only half of these beads. And since the half of these are ginger where I grow some seedlings. So I have something to plant in the beads nearby the fruit. But they are started to grow already, guys. They start growing already in this part. But these are my kangkong that I planted. And we able to harvest some already here. And I able to cook it. They got flowers. They get bigger. Yes, these are the kangkong that I have planted last time. We able to eat it already. And they got white flowers look at that and here that one is still a paper i don't know it's a bell paper or a different type but here this line i have planted also some tonight too but this is not full that one is vacant where i can plant the rotten tomato that we got in the kitchen but yeah and in here, this is the spinach. It's been in a while I keep using the leaves of the spinach when I cook, especially on breakfast. And I make some eggs for Scott. And here, these are the beans that I grow. I keep planting these beans and it grows, starting to grow, but when it grows, someone ate it then I plant again I never give up hopefully they grow bigger no one can eat it and good thing yeah they started to grow and they give us some beans and yes it's been two times already I harvested some beans on this one that they give us so I able to cook it and mix it with the food recipe that I cook every dinner and also during breakfast but look it is still quite long we did not buy the seeds um because last time i grew a lot of beans and some of it's getting older so we dried the seeds and then that seeds i use it here to plant again but at this time not a lot really growing because somebody ate it or something ate it like the REP but good thing now there are some really growing and I'm happy about it and we able to cook something out of it yeah start again flowering so it means they start bearing beans already and there are some here that growing I just harvested last time I keep putting it in the refrigerator then when I needed it, I just get it and cook it. I guess this one, like, look. It's very long. Quite long. Let's see. That bean is quite long. Yeah. But it's not much because some of this is still young. But I guess I need to get this one. Yeah. I don't want to make it older in the bean. When I cook them for dinner, I can use it. Mm. I was hoping they grow a lot so I can share it to others. This is how it looks now, guys, in our greenhouse. Our beans start coming out. The spinach there that I keep using. I just planted some new tomato seeds. And that one is the kangkung. Then the next are the okra but I have to pull that out it's been a while and those are the eggplant and this one are the squash and start coming out it's quite big that one is still so young and on the side are the chives some are tomato radish and pichai the family of the cabbage and the Chinese cabbage but also every time we use the avocado I always save the seeds uh, cause, because I like to, to grow 
more avocado and if someone would like some I can give them the new seeds they're not growing yet look just few days that I have planted the seeds then this one look when I plant skinless I take out the skin so it will easily grow faster uh, other avocados that I planted out from the seeds and they are really coming out like that rotten tomato that I saved from our kitchen I just planted it directly in the soil open it up like this whole rotten tomato and then I just dig put it directly in the soil anyway the skin will become a compost I hope it grow a lot so I have a lot of tomato and then we can make our own tomato sauce fresh one finish planting the seeds of the rotten tomato in our beds hoping that they will grow so I have more a lot of seedlings where I can plant here inside the greenhouse and which is good though because not only are vegetables giving us something but also even our fruits like the banana last time my mom I let my family harvest it and bring it some to the island and I just get some since we cannot eat it all so I share it to them and now the lemon start growing start bearing already and also the pineapple they start fruit bearing also and i got there one start growing some fruits and it's quite big but not old enough to be harvest and i like to plant a lot different type of vegetables and fruit here but inside the garden, I would like to plant some more different kind of vegetables. So we can able to use it here at home. And not only that, yeah, it help us to save some money for our food consumption. If we grow That's it, guys, the looks now of our greenhouse that we have built here. And we still keep growing even out of the seeds that we already grown here so we don't keep buying and buying and yeah we're really trying our best to grow some more to use one so thank you everyone especially to our subscribers and viewers who always there to support us and to do so are new into our channel welcome guys and please do subscribe it helped us a lot and yeah and please do hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos and do like comment share and subscribe into our channel god bless and stay safe